Lesson 15. One, the other. Are both my hands on the table? No, both your hands aren't on the table, but one's on the table and the other's on your arm. Are both my hands closed? No, both your hands aren't closed, but one's closed and the other's open. Are both these pencils red? No, both these pencils aren't red, but one's red and the other's grey. Kind. What's this? It's a book. What kind of book is this? It's an English book. What kind of room is this? It's a classroom. What kind of car do you prefer? I prefer a sports car. Pronoun, preposition. The words what, which, where, etc. are interrogative pronouns. Give me some examples of interrogative pronouns, please. Some examples of interrogative pronouns are what, which and where. The words on, under, in, etc. are prepositions. Give me some examples of prepositions, please. Some examples of prepositions are on, under and in. With an interrogative pronoun, what, where, etc., the preposition, on, under, in, etc., generally comes last in the sentence and not first. For example, we say, what do we write with, and not, with what do we write. Where does the preposition generally come in an English sentence with an interrogative pronoun? The preposition generally comes last in an English sentence with an interrogative pronoun. Give me an example, please. What do we write with and not with what do we write? What do we speak with? We speak with our mouths. Where am I taking the book from? You're taking the book from the table. What am I putting the pen under? You're putting the pen under the book. North, south, east, west, cardinal, point. Tell me the names of the four cardinal points, please. The names of the four cardinal points are north, south, east and west. Is Greece west of Italy? No, Greece isn't west of Italy. But it's east of Italy. Is Paris in the south of France? No, Paris isn't in the south of France, but it's in the north of France. Is Germany east or west of Italy? Germany is neither east nor west of Italy, but it's north of Italy. Place, some of. How many places are there in this room? There are twelve places in this room. Is there anybody sitting in that place? Yes, there's somebody sitting in that place. Tell me the names of some of the places you like in this country. The names of some of the places I like in this country are Rome, Naples, and Florence. Without, contrary. What's the contrary of with? The contrary of with is without. Can we write without a pen or a pencil? No, we can't write without a pen or a pencil. Can we speak without opening our mouths? No, we can't speak without opening our mouths. Can you read without opening your eyes? No, I can't read without opening my eyes. Verb, noun, translation. A verb is a word we use for an action. For example, take, put, open, close, etc. are verbs. 
Whilst a noun is the name of a thing, for example, book, picture, wall, etc. The word translate is a verb, whilst the word translation is a noun. The word mean is a verb, whilst the word meaning is a noun. What's the difference between a verb and a noun? The difference between a verb and a noun is that a verb is a word we use for an action, whilst a noun is the name of a thing. Give me an example of a verb, please. Take is a verb. Give me an example of a noun. Book is a noun. Is the word translation a verb or a noun? The word translation is a noun. During, about. Do we speak French during the lesson? No, we don't speak French during the lesson, but we speak English. Do you walk about the room during the lesson? No, I don't walk about the room during the lesson, but I sit on my chair. Does she walk about the room during the lesson? No, she doesn't walk about the room during the lesson, but she sits on her chair. About how many questions do you answer during the lesson? I answer about twenty to thirty questions during the lesson.